Welcome to my accounting tutorial. In this video, I would like to show you how to build an, a complete income statement for multiple years of companies. I have already prepared uh, an example of companies uh, here, ABC company, which uh, is very popular transaction. For example, the company issue common share for 2000 in 2018 borrow uh, a bank loan for 500 buy property in plan for uh, 1000 so on and so forth so let's start a very first line in this income statement is the revenues in 2018 the company earn the revenue equal to uh, the amount of uh, cash which inventories uh, sold the inventory equal to six trends twenty and the cost of sale here equal to for the expand in this video, I will put the minus sign uh, in front of the expand to be easier when we calculate the sum of profits, operating profit, and then net income for the company. Equal minus the cost of sale is the the amount which the company purchased its inventory equal to uh, 380 and because at the end of the year the company inventory left is 80 so we minus 4 80 is the inventory amount uh, which the company's inventory left at the end of the year Then we calculate the gross profit equal to sum of uh, revenues and cost of sale. So you can see when we put the minus sign here, uh, we just uh, easily uh, use the fun the sum function in the Excel to calculate the gross profit. We don't need to uh, put a minus or a plus sign in the formula. Next, the company's uh, pet expense for 2018 equal to uh, minus uh, 45. Depreciation. Depreciation um, of the operating expand here uh, is uh, the appreciation amount of the uh, property and plan this company's property and plan the estimates uh, for a, a time uh, using periods is 10 years so the depreciation equal to minus open bracket and minus four um, one thousand uh, divided four in the year. Then we calculate the operating profits equal to the pro the gross profit minus four expand and minus four depreciation. Finance cost. Finance cost here is the interest rate, the interest amount which the company pay for the bank when the company borrow a bank loan equal to 35. Then we have profits before tax equal to sum 
of the operating profits and minus for finance cost. Here in this case is the company interest payment. The tax at 30%. The tax 30% here is the 30% of the profits, the company profit before tax equal to minus open bracket. Uh, 30% multiply for the profits before tax amount. Then the company's net income is equal to profit before tax minus for the tax rate of 30 equal 98. Last video when when we have calculated the net income is equal to the return earning in the on the equity side uh, in the balances because in last case the companies had not paid dividend to its shareholder. So that's why the net income in last case was the same with the retained earning in the equity on the equity side of the balances. But in this case, the company does pay dividend for its shareholder. So dividend equal to minus 38 equal. Then we get return earning equal to net income minus for dividend amount which the company have has paid for its shareholder. For the next year 2019 the company earned a revenue of um, from selling inventory 650 and the company cost of sale was equal to minus open record equal to because uh, in 2018 the company inventory left at the end of the year 2018 was 80 so we put 80 into the account and at the beginning of 2019 the company purchased the inventory for um, 450 so we plus for 450 in the 2019 and at the end, because at the end of 2019, uh, the company uh, has $100 left uh, for its inventory, so we need to mine it for uh, $100 also. Then we get the gross profit exactly the same with the previous year. Or we can easily uh, copy the formula here to the right and exactly the same formula automatically change. Next, the company uh, 2019, the company span was uh, minus for uh, 53 equal and the depreciation exactly the same so we don't need to put the formula again we just need to copy the formula exactly the same oh sorry oh we um, we copy 
Okay. So because uh, the neck row in 2019 um, is blank, so if we want to copy, we need to fix the row C9 by put the dollar sign here. And we can copy exactly the same. Then we get the operating profits or earning before interest and tax equal to uh, gross profits minus for expense and depreciation. Finance cost equal minus four. Uh, in 2019, it was. Uh, 23 then we get the profits before tax equal to operating profits minus for uh, finance cost uh, or in this case interest payment or bank charge tax exactly the same equal to um, minus open bracket uh, 30% uh, multiply for uh, 44% then we get a net income equal to uh, profit before tax and minus for the tax rate in this year 2019 the company paid the dividend for a equal. Then finally, we get the return earning equal to net income minus for the dividend. So we have construct a complete income statement for co companies uh, for two years 2018 and 2019 so if a company does not pay dividend for its shareholder for a specific year the net, the net income exactly the same with the return earning on the equity side in the balances so if in that year a company does pay dividend for its shareholder we should remember to deduct the dividend from net income to get the exact exactly uh, amount of the return earning of the company thank you so much for watching this, this video if you need any further uh, assistance or question please put in the comment Please subscribe and like the video. Thank you so much.